been more than three weeks since several tornadoes destroyed parts of southeast Alabama and claimed 23 lives in Lee County. Today, the National Weather Service released a report stating 19 of the 23 victims lived in mobile or manufactured housing. CBS 42 News reporter Cameron Edgeworth has been investigating this report and what it means for those living in a mobile home or in a rural community. And Cameron, you went to the National Weather Service here locally. Sherry, that's right. And I spoke with the National Service uh, spokesperson who says the tornadoes that hit Lee County are a tragic example of how fast severe weather can hit. And you must have a plan in place once you're aware of the possibility of severe weather. People in Lee County still recovering after deadly tornadoes ripped through parts of southeast Alabama and Georgia early this month. The National Weather Service says 19 of those victims lived in manufactured homes. No matter what type of tornado it's going to be, weak, strong, or violent, you're going to have to, to seek substantial shelter. Uh, those homes, um, mobile homes, manufactured homes, are not safe in those situations. Kevin Laws is a science officer with the National Weather Service in Birmingham. He says once a tornado touches down in an area, there's not a lot of time to seek shelter. He says it's essential to have a plan in place after learning about the potential of severe weather in the days leading up to the storms. No matter where you live in this state, you need to reach out to your community leaders, especially folks like the emergency management, let them help you. They can help you. If you, if you move to the state, you're new, you don't understand this process, they can help you. If you've lived here your whole life, they can help you. Nayeli Gutierrez lives at the Green Park South Mobile Homes in Pelham. Gutierrez says the community knows where they can go during severe weather, but now she will always follow her plan. Every time I hear there's bad weather coming or something, I always stay home. But from now, when that happens, I feel like I have to get myself ready and prepare and know where my closest uh, shelter will be. You know, because it can always happen. We just have to be ready. Law says it's not enough to just have a plan in place, but it's essential you also have a way to be alerted of severe weather. Reporting live in the newsroom, Cameron Edgeworth, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. And remember, anytime you need information on the weather, want to stay a step ahead, you can find it free on our CBS 42 weather app.